Hello students, Ms. Swanson here, and today we're going to be looking at the thin lens equation. Now you should have already watched the video on the mirror equation, and we'll see that the thin lens equation actually is very, very similar in the formula and how we use it, and in the characteristics of the object and image when we describe them. So we have two learning goals for today. The first is to describe conventions used for lenses. So those will be the positive and negative signs that we use in the formulas. And the second is to calculate the focal length, image distance, or object distance when given the other two variables. So let's start off here with our ray diagram. This is with a converging lens and we can see the object there in blue and the image in green. And let's talk about some of the conventions we use. So first of all, let's just give some descriptors to these object and image. So first of all, DO is the distance between the object and the optical center. D for distance, O for object. DI is the distance between the image and the optical center. D for distance, I for image. And F is the distance between the optical center and the focus, and F stands for focal length. Now let's take a look at our diverging lenses. We have the same characteristics here. DO for object distance, DI for image distance, and F for focal length. So these are the different uh, characteristics that we'll be using to describe our objects and image. So now when we talk about the conventions, remember from the mirror equation that these are just what we use so we know whether we're talking about a real image, a virtual image, a converging lens, a diverging lens, but all of these are in reality are measurements. So we can never measure a negative value with a ruler. A ruler will only ever give you positive numbers. However, we just add in a negative sign or a positive sign so that we have more information about that characteristic. It's not actually a negative value. That negative is just a convention to give us more information. So let's see how that looks. For DO, the object distance, it will always be positive. So every time that you write a number for DO into your equation, it will always be a positive number. DI is a positive number when the image is real, and it's a negative number when the image is virtual. So if we measure the distance of the image to be 5 centimeters, but it was a virtual image, we would write negative 5 into our equation. So even though the actual measurement is 5, we write negative 5 so that we know we are dealing uh, with a virtual image. And then for the focal length, if it's a converging lens, it will be positive. And if it's a diverging lens, it will be negative. So just like we saw before with the, the image of the distance, if we measure the focal length to be 3 centimeters, even though the actual calculation is 3 centimeters, in our equation, if we're dealing with a diverging lens, we would write negative 3 because the negative indicates the diverging lens. So let's take a look at some examples here. Oh, sorry. First of all, let's take a look at the equation. So this equation should look similar to what you've seen with the mirror equation. 1 over f equals 1 over do plus 1 over di. And just like with the mirror equation, I'm not going to go through the steps to rearrange the equation to isolate each of the variables because this is something you should have learned how to do in math class. However, if you struggled with this and you'd like to go through the steps, come ask me in class and we can go through those together. Alternatively, I've given you the three um, different rearranged versions of the equation in the different colors here. If you'd like to just memorize the rearranged version of the equation, you're welcome to do that as long as you remember all three of them in their correct forms. So let's take a look at an example here. A pen is in front of a converging lens which has a focal length of 17.3 centimeters. The real image is located 19.62 centimeters from the lens. Determine the distance of the original object from the lens. So we've got lots of information here. Let's find all of it. So we're dealing with a converging lens and it has a focal length of 17.3 centimeters. There's a real image, and it's 19.62 centimeters from the lens, and we need to determine the distance of the original object, so DO. So let's use our grass method here. So given information, so we know that the focal length is 17.3 centimeters. And it's positive 17.3 because we're dealing with a converging lens. And then it says the image, uh, or sorry, the 
DI, so the real image is located 19.62 centimeters from the lens. So DI because we're talking about the distance of the image, not the object. And I put positive 19.62 because it says that it is a real image. And then required, we need to find out the distance of the original object, or DO. For our analysis here, we have 1 over F equals 1 over DO plus 1 over DI. And if we rearrange that equation for DO, then we're going to end up with DI times F over DI minus F. And if we substitute in those values here, we have DO equals 19.62 centimeters times 17.3 centimeters over 19.62 centimeters minus 17.3 centimeters. And if we do all of that math, we're going to end up with 146 centimeters. So now for our sentence, the object was 146 centimeters from the lens. So that's how we would solve a problem like that. Let's take a look at another type of example. A ring has placed a distance of 3.9 centimeters from a converging lens. The virtual image was located 24.56 centimeters from the lens. What is the focal length? So let's look at the information we have here. So the ring, the original object, is 13.9 centimeters from a converging lens. The image is virtual and it's 24.56 centimeters from the lens. And then we need to find the focal length. So our given information, the, the ring, the original object, so that's DO, is 3.9 centimeters from the lens. DO is always a positive number, so we leave it positive. And it says the virtual image, so DI for image, is 24.56 centimeters. Now it's a virtual image, so we use a negative sign. So negative 24.56 centimeters. And then required the focal length. So here if we use our formula, 1 over F equals 1 over DO plus 1 over DI. We can rearrange this to DI times DO over di plus do. And if we substitute and then solve, we have di is negative 24.56 centimeters times 3.9 centimeters over negative 24.56 centimeters plus 3.9 centimeters. And that will give us a total of 4.6 centimeters. So here our sentence, the focal length is 4.6 centimeters. Now if we pause for a minute here and take a thought about this, our final answer is a positive number, 4.6, and when is the focal length positive? When you have a converging lens. If we look back to the original question, it tells us we're dealing with a converging lens. So we know that we have the proper sign, so we're definitely on the right track here. So the focal length of the converging lens is 4.6 centimeters. So that's how you would solve a problem like this. 
So let's take another look at our learning goals here. You should be able to describe the conventions used for lenses, so those are the positives and negative signs. You should be able to calculate focal length, image distance, or object distance when given the other two. If you can do all these things, fantastic. If not, please re-watch the video, and if you're still having trouble, come ask me in class tomorrow. Alright, that's all for now. Bye-bye!